that Scarlet Speedster is saying a lot. Here's your look at the brand new Spin Master, The Flash Movie, Speed Force The Flash. Super speed into action with the Speed Force The Flash action figure. Super villains don't stand a chance against the fastest man alive. This 12-inch action figure features authentic movie styling, lights and sounds, and 11 points of articulation. Unlock The Flash's lightning speed by pressing his chest. Watch as he lights up and goes into running mode. Shake the figure for lights and sounds. Do you have what it takes to save the world? Just before Barry starts breaking speed limits, let me first thank the folks over at Spin Master that did provide this sample of the brand new Speed Force, the Flash, that we could have a look at in this review. First, what we'll do to get things underway is let's measure off the figure. Right at the very top of the head, the Flash stands 11 and a half inches in height, or the figure is 29 centimeters tall. A bit of a silly comparison, I know, but I did want to bring in at least the four inch tall figure of Flash so you can see where he goes on the new Speed Force Flash. In this case, he's just below the kneecap of the taller Scarlet Speedster. In order to cycle through the audio clips and the sound effects, Speed Force Flash does require batteries. You'll be happy to know at least that the folks over at Spin Master does include already the three required AG13 or LR44 batteries. They're installed, in fact, the back of the figure. We spin this around so you can kind of see a little more of the ugliness of the figure, and it's more just simply just because they had to incorporate, a, uh, obviously, the battery cover. In this case, you would just simply unscrew it take the, those off and of course then replace the batteries inside but you'll be happy to know as long as long as somebody isn't playing with these in stores you should be able to get this guy right out of the packaging right away and start cycling through the audio it does have the speaker of course also here located on the back you can probably tell by the fact it does have sort of the pepper shaker holes and then just below just above his butt butt actually of all places he does have then the three different dial options or setting options there's an off there's a try or try me option which is what it was set for when you initially get this out of the packaging and then there's the on i've already obviously switched it to on switching it to off probably would be the best idea if you don't plan to have this guy always playing because if you do happen to move this guy it can start to cycle through some of the sound clips in case uh, obviously when we switched it over to try try then not only starts to illuminate this guy right away but then from there pressing the button here on the back of his on the front of his chest will then start to cycle through the remaining of the sound effects and the audio clips but we're going to go ahead and switch this all the way to on quickly dealing with some of the sound effects that we're going to be having to contend with right away shaking this guy doesn't cycle the sound effects yet you have to kind of press the button first before you can start to do that but before we get ahead of ourselves though i wanted to quickly show you guys the head sculpt here for flash and again like for a larger version of the flash it turned out pretty good by having a larger palette as well it also gives them a chance as well to paint some of the things a little bit more finer like his eyes for example the mouth gets colored differently from the rest of his face a little bit more of a pinkish color and you as well get more sharper details represented like the lightning bolts here on the side of his helmet for example Things that I'm still not crazy about is the texturing that the Flash suit now has, but you can see that they've sculpted that rather nicely, at least to the credit of, of Spin Master, that they did do that well here to the body. Of course, the parts that are actually illuminated are actually using a translucent yellow plastic. Not only does the rule apply here for the front emblem here, but all the parts that will illuminate all down the side of his leg, for example, are all using translucent yellow plastic. It does have some nice, again, use of gold, while you don't well, I don't really like the idea of actually having the boots not all be all gold color. He has some what what he has at least of boots. These little parts, panels of gold are actually nicely painted. The figure doesn't have any peggles on the undersides of his feet, but you can see it, it, it looks like they probably would have used a gold plastic. Maybe they would have then gone and painted the part then in red and leaving behind what would have been then that translucent plastic for the rest of his body. So like these parts, I don't think would have been separately applied they probably would have then just painted the red over top of it. That's my guess, at least. So I've got some nice gold here on the sides of the forearms. He also has some nice gold here uh, on the actual belt area there as well. And if, again, you can overlook the fact he has a very obvious place to store the batteries and a very obvious place that projects out the sound, he does actually clean, he looks rather clean from the front of the figure. For the figure's articulation, it's going to be a little bit more limited. For example, he does have a ball joint in the head. That's not the part that's limited. The head doesn't look up, but it does, well, it doesn't even look down either. It doesn't even rock back and forth as well. But it only just really rotates all the way around. His sh shoulders are about the, the thing that rotates or hinges the most. You can hinge them out at about 90 degrees. 
take those arms you can rotate them on either side both sides figure does have just only again a single hinge in the elbow but at least the form does rotate back and forth he does have unlike the four inch tall figures actual swiveling in his wrists he has no articulation here in the waist likely again because a lot of it has to do with the gimmick and the only thing that was a little more limited on the figure while he does have the means to move his legs forward and back and he does even have a hinge in his knee that's a nice touch he doesn't actually have the means to split his legs you only can get just a straight swivel back and forth uh, for the parts that are illuminated, he seems to have what I'm guessing to be like light ups or but like actual light bulbs down below here in his feet. You'll see what I mean in a second. And he also seems to have obviously light bulbs here in the in the top of his chest. To cycle through though the audio, all you'll have to do then is press the button here located in the front of Flash's body. We have to go back. I don't know if you can actually tell that right away. I'm going to press it again. It seems to jump back and forth between sound effects and then, of course, the clips of the audio. But what I wanted to draw your attention to, it does seem like they have relied on Ezra Miller to provide the audio clips. Now, I don't think he would have likely gone into the studio and recorded those clips. They probably would have just then pulled it from the movie itself. But I'm actually impressed to see that they used Ezra, Ezra Miller's audio rather than actually using sometimes another actor that sounds close enough to the actor that's in the movie. Spin Master actually did use an audio clip from the movie. So I like that. Again, pressing the button. One thing I did also want to bring to your attention, because it's probably a question you guys are going to be asking me, is can you interrupt the audio by pressing the button again? And no, you can't. So if you press the button again, it won't do anything else until that audio is finished. And that's the same as well when it gets to an audio clip. Like if there's a chance where Flash starts to speak, I'm going to press it again. That's the best example right there. You can see like it doesn't interrupt and, and start a new audio clip. You have to kind of wait for it to finish. The other thing I obviously wanted to show you as well is when you are pressing to illuminate, you can see how it lights up here at the top of the thigh and it also lights down below here. As I mentioned already, it looks like there seems to be a light bulb at the base of his feet. You can see the way it's glowing. The other thing that's neat though about Speed Force Flash is when you press the button, you kind of have to wait for it to get to a sound clip. There we go. Once you get to a sound like this, you can actually shake Flash around. And he makes the speed force running sounds. And again, like you get the top of the thigh that does glow. You get the chest that glows as well. As long as you continue to shake the figure until of course you tire yourself all out it will continue to illuminate and will continue to make that sound effects as well the thing about the figure though is when it gets to a cycle like this you sort of have to wait to let it run its course no pun intended sometimes it will take a little while for it to actually stop making the noise and stop glowing so that's always a good time to probably go in and turn it off on the back of the figure and again, it's a really neat looking flash. I, I like the way that they found the way to incorporate the light up effects, not only just to the top of his body, because you would imagine it would be there anyways, because that's where all the gimmick is heavily influenced. But the fact that they found the way to actually illuminate the rest of the lower legs, yes, it doesn't mean, unfortunately, that he has the means to hinge his legs outward. But even by just, again, rotating the, or even moving the flash figure around, you can see again how well that illuminates. It's a nice looking flash figure. Not one that I could only just see kids wanting to play with, but older adults as well. I'm just going to wait for it to actually start to die down here a little bit. Now, this figure also of Flash scales very well as well with the other 12-inch tall Flash figures that we will be looking at in upcoming reviews. I would imagine that they're probably going to be releasing also a 12-inch tall Flash figure that isn't going to have the bells and the whistles, not the light-up sounds, not the light-ups or the lights and sounds. But I, I imagine even if you don't plan to pick up a 12 inch tall flash figure, being that this one does scale size wise nicely with the other flash figures, this guy would look great on the shelf with those other 12 inch tall flash figures. While you may not be able to get too creative when it comes to posing Speed Force Flash on your shelf, this is clearly geared towards more of the kids. Even recommended on the front of the packaging is ages four and up, but I could even see myself having had as much fun that I have had with it. 
I could easily see adults wanting to pick this one up. Yeah, I'm buying it for my kid is what you'll say for yourself even when you're buying it in the stores. Then you'll be periodically picking up Barry Allen and running around the house of him. The neat thing about the figure is not only does he have the illumination in his chest, the rest of his body, and he also cycles through audio clips, but Spin Master then went one step further by incorporating some, some sort of motion sensor into the actual figure's body. So while you are actually running around the house, because of course you're buying it for your kid and all, while you are running around, the thing will continue to emit that sound and also pulsate. It's a really fun, clever way to incorporate a gimmick into the figure. Not all characters will work well with a gimmick into a toy, but the Flash here and the Speed Force release of Flash does work extremely well, not only incorporating audio clips, but a, a means to have him glowing as well while he's doing it. What do you guys think of Speed Force Flash? Could you see yourselves buying this for your child? And I'm putting that in bunny ears, quotations. Yes, again, we all plan to buy these for our kids, but ultimately, though, we know we're going to be picking up periodically while it's just laying on the couch or laying on the table, and you'll probably be pressing the button a couple of times on the front of the chest. You may even be caught running around the house with Flash in your hand. Once again, a big thank you, though, to the folks over at Spin Master Toys that did provide the sample of the brand new Speed Force Flash that we could have a look at this review. If you guys enjoyed this video, I want to hit with a like. If you guys are loving the content you guys are seeing and on board to certainly see more, then make sure you hit that subscribe button down below and that you're also turning on the bell notification. We will also be having some more Flash reviews coming your way. So if, certainly if you guys would like to see more from the folks over at Spin Master, making sure you're coming back to this channel on a regular basis. As always, guys, thanks for watching. See you guys next time.